What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Truth Life Podcast. I'm your host, Tyron Johnson, professional basketball player, currently playing in France. If you're new here, this podcast is called the Truth Life Podcast. Truth stands for take respect and tell freedom. That's what this channel, that's what this podcast is all about. It's freedom, living our best life, living our life to the highest of our capabilities, and having fun while doing it. <sighs> Today's episode, we're talking about why age is a dumb thing to control you. I've seen guys give up dreams because of age. I've seen guys be insecure about where they are in life because of age. Same thing with women. Whenever I say guys, I'm, I'm meaning women and men. But um, yeah, I've seen so many people let age determine their success. When in today's time, more than any other time in history, age do not matter. You can be successful at 70. You can be successful at 13 today. Hell, they got eight-year-olds making millions of dollars on YouTube. You got people that's been investing their whole life that finally got their breakthrough at 60, 70 years old. So age, age doesn't matter. Age is something that society put on you to keep you down. And the reason why society want to keep you down is because they want to be up. They want to be above. Society is all about power. So society is all about control. When you give into that control, society wins. That's why I say don't let age control you because in all actuality, you letting society control you. Never let society control you. You get one life and I suggest that you live it on your own terms. I looked at a few examples about why age is never too old. I follow a guy named Mr. Organic, right? If you look at this guy's YouTube channel, it's amazing. I mean, he puts out a video every day. He's funny. He's charismatic. He's motivational. He's giving you gems about uh, stocks, um, ab about uh, crypto and stuff like that and showing you how to flip jewelry, how to flip cars. He's giving you that game. He's also a rapper. He's also very creative, very artistic, but he's 40 years old and he does it unapologetically. Every song in his videos is his songs. Most people will probably tell him, bro, you too old to be rapping. But he's like, nah, I'm going to be myself. This is who I am. He call it from the seed, organic. Like, that's who I am. I respect guys like that because you're not letting society put you in a box. You go ahead and you look at a guy like um, the, the founder of KFC, Colonel Sanders. He didn't achieve his, his success until his 60s. 60, his 60s, bro. It's Colonel Sanders. KFC is a global brand. It took him 60 years to figure that out, right? If you look at um, the McDonald's guy, the, uh, the McDonald's brothers, they didn't start today. It was like 52. Henry Ford didn't get the assembly line for Ford until he was like 50. You also got teenagers that's 13 years old making millions on YouTube. Like, it's no excuse today. It's no excuse to get what you want, when you want, and how you want. The thing is, success isn't only about money. Success is progress. Success is having an end mark. What do you want to do? Where do you want to be? And if you're progressing to that end goal, that's success. But you see, today, success is being confused with social media. Success is being confused with lifestyle. I mean, the amount of trips I see people taking today is unbelievable i love that people are trying to get out and see the world but when you look at their bank accounts when you see the average amount of money that americans make when you see the average amount of money in savings accounts in stocks in real estate that's invested when you see the average amount of network that these people have they're living above their means 
and we live in a consumer society right now to whereas you got to have the latest designer clothes or you're a lame. You got to, bro, you got to buy foreign cars or you're a lame. You got to take trips to Tulum, to Dubai, or you're a lame. And people are trying to keep up with this persona and this lifestyle. And what they don't understand is that most people are faking the funk. They can do that, but life after that, they, they, they're living very, very, very conservative because they just don't have it. The numbers don't add up. And then you got some of the guys in my community that's going to poison the community, that's going to do whatever they can do to uphold this image in society. When, you know, if you live in that lifestyle, you're already one of the best entrepreneurs there are. But a lot of people let age control them. And I'm telling you right now that age is nothing. Not in today's time. You can we're we are gifted with unlimited information in today's time. That should be no excuse. Second point I wanted to make was don't let insecurity kill your motivation. If you look at the rappers, they always say that you're too old. That's the only music genre that says that. When you look at country music, when you look at rock and roll music, when you listen to, listening to these other genres, they embrace the elders. The elders are talking about things that's advancing their society, advancing their culture. We always say rap is a young man's sport. I don't believe in that. I don't even listen to rap today. I listen to rap just to see what's going on before it's like listening to rap to vibe out to. I don't listen to rap, these rappers today. I listen to old school rappers. I mainly listen to Afro beats. And even now today, I just put on some lo-fi beats in the background. And I just chill out. No music, no lyrics at all because the lyrics are poison. But what I'm saying is you got guys like me that's looking for rappers that's really spitting these stories and spitting these bars that I can relate to. Most of the time I'm listening to Rosé or Jay-Z because we, re we relate. So it's like you're never too old. You don't know who's listening. The thing is, you want to be 40 years old and you want to start rapping and have a million followers. Nah, it ain't about followers. It's about impact. Who are you impacting? You know what I'm saying? The thing about this is why you got to protect. You got to protect your energy. You got to protect what you want to do because one person can say something and mess up all your motivation. I'm a victim of this. I'll be doing something and somebody says whack and I'll, I'll double, I'll double, I'll start thinking, thinking about it. That's retarded. I've done all this research, I've done all this studying, I've done all this practicing, and because one person out of 50 pe people said that they didn't like it or they thought it was whack, it'll kill me. That's where you got to grow at. One person can't determine what's good and what's not. It probably just wasn't good for them. If you can survive and you can still take care of your responsibilities, it don't matter what people think about the things that you're passionate about. You're doing it because you're passionate about it. The comments, the likes, that shit don't matter, man. The key is, whatever you do, you have to be good at it. I don't give a damn how old are you. I don't give a damn. Whatever you do, you got to be good at it. Guess what? You always want to be a pro basketball player? I don't care if you're 42 years old. You still can be a pro basketball player. How can you be a pro basketball player? They say that you're a professional anytime you're getting paid for something. Go to these money tournaments. You want to get paid from playing basketball? Go to these money tournaments for 10K, 5K, 1K. Go outside and play one-on-one -on -one for $100. Go outside, play one-on-one, -on -one, $20 a game. Play five people, 
you win a hundred dollars a day. Shit, that's damn near thirty one hundred dollars a month. You making more money than most dudes that's going overseas, tax free. That's if you're nice though. You gotta actually win the games. But there's ways that you can be a pro basketball player at 42 years old. I know a guy named Myron the Show Allen in, in Houston. Still run with the young boys. I got a guy named The Legend in Houston. I put him up against any 40 year old up, 40 man, 40 year old man and up. I don't give a damn how old you are. If you his size, about 6'2, six, 6'3, six, and, and, and his size, playing a guard, he'll bust you up. He can still get paid from playing basketball today because he nice. He played pickup with us in the summer, bro, because he's nice. If you good, you can be anything you want. Your age do not matter. Your age do not matter. That's one thing I admire about people that go out and get it. It don't matter what you want to be. You want to rap at an old age? Bro, rap. There's a market for you. You want to play basketball at an old age? Play basketball. There's a market for you. If you want to do all this stuff at a young age, do it. There's a market for it. You got lemonade stands. You got grass cutting businesses. You got car washing businesses. Bro, you can do whatever you want to do and make money from it. So I just had to make this episode because it was deep on me talking to my guys that I mentor. You know, a lot of sometimes I mentor older people and I just hear it and I hear it and I'm like, nah. That's why I love the 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 uh, the Dame Dash interview with uh on all the smoke with with Steven Jackson. Asked him what his dream was. He said to be successful. Dame Dash said, That's an emotion. He said, What is your dream? What do you want to do? He said, I already lived it. Okay, what's the next dream? He said, I want to act. Say, why don't you act? There's six cameras in here, sound guy in the location. Why don't you act? He said, Well, it comes more than that. It's more than that than it's writing. Dame Dad's like, nah, it ain't about that. Say, you want to act. You ain't trying to write. Set up a scene. Yo, have an argument with him about a girl. Steven Jackson done amazing in 30 seconds. It's brilliant. He came out and just shut himself down and said that wasn't good enough. That's because the insecurities of society. He didn't have a writer. He didn't have a studio. He thought that he needed a director and all of this. Man, whatever you want to do, do that shit. Whatever you want to do, do that shit. If people catch on, they catch on. If not, as long as you can pay your bills, as long as you can take care of yourself, be responsible, take care of your kids, and do whatever you need to do, do your passions. Because their opinions do not matter. Once again, I'm Tyron Johnson. If you get any time, please check out my website, tyronjohnson.com, for everything to keep to stay updated with me. And remember, to live a truth life, you got to make them pay every day. Until the next time, I'm out, man.